Hi everybody and uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Sara and today I'm going to share with you um, some tips that I've been doing with Canva for my art in situ pictures for social media and my website. So um, I do use Canva and I use Canva Pro so I have the paid version but you can do this with the free version um, easily and um, that way you're not paying for other art in situ apps as well so I'm all about saving you money and um, not spending money unnecessarily so I am I'm really happy with Canva and what I can do with it particularly with um, the art in situ pictures of my artworks when they are ready to go um, to be promoted on socials and up onto my website. So um, we will jump straight in and I will share my screen. Just before we go, if you do like my videos, if you could like and subscribe, it just helps me make more videos and hopefully help you along with your art business and your journey as well. So let's get into it. Okay, now this is my Canva. Um, now I do have the pro paid version of Canva. Um, everything that I show you, you will be able to do in um, the unpaid version, the free version, but um, this is for the paid version. And my opinion, it's worth it. It's worth it just for this. So let's get into it. Um, so we're gonna create a design. So I'm going to do these um, art in situ photos as Instagram posts, so they're square. It's also usable for Facebook and everything else, but I like to start with a square. So I'll open that up. So you've got your square here. Now um, we want to go over to photos and we want to find a background, which is your um, in situ. Um, photograph and then you'll drop your artwork into that so up the top you search and as you can see here I've got um, wall art mock-up now this works really well for me I can find everything that I need you've got some options across the top here um, picture frames white wall mock-up okay so there's you can narrow it down oh I didn't want to do that uh, we'll go back to The frames. So these are what I've recently used. And we'll start again. Back into photos. Wall art mock up. And here we are. So these are the photos. Um, and of course, I can use the pro ones. So that will help me a lot. But there's plenty that are free. So if you had three um, artworks that were at, at Triptych, um, bring that one in. And then we can work with that and put your photos into that. So what I want to show you today, um, let's just pick one. Let's, let's just pick this one. So what I need to do now is it's, it's pretty much square already. Um, edit image. And then I do the magic expand. Um, so that will expand it to the whole page so it fits nicely it also gives you options so let's do that and magic expand we'll just take a moment while it does that see here it'll give you four options of different ways that it will expand out which is uh, very helpful and it's good to get some different ideas as well so there you go Pretty much it's expanded out the same in all four um, options here. So we'll stay with that, do that. Now we want to bring in the photograph of the artwork. So go to uploads and if you haven't already, upload your files and you'll see them here. Now I'm going to work with this one today. So there we are, brought that over. Now all I need to do is resize that. So it fits into the artwork. There we go. It's pretty close. Um, you could fiddle around more with that and get rid of the little tiny white line. 
let's see what I can do. Let's film a little bit. There we go. Let's shift it in. So there you go. It's easy and it's already given you a drop shadow. So it looks real um, as well. What you can also do, um, so you can therefore save that one. Let's um, duplicate it. Take the artwork out. Let's give it a different background. Uh, go back to photos. Let's find another one. Let's do that one. Um, set images background. Let's see how that looks. Didn't work. What happened there? Oh, replace. Oh, hang on. Delete that one out. That would have helped. There we are. So therefore, that's set that in as your background. Therefore, you can bring in um, another artwork. Let's go back to uploads. We'll play with this one this time. And center it in. There we go. You might agree that that's ex not exactly square. But once you put that onto your social media or even onto your website, nobody is ever going to pick that it's not quite square. And I think for value for money, this is where um, Canva and Canva Pro are really good. So there's your second one. Done easily. Um, let's do another one. We'll drop in a different background and I'll show you. Um, what will we do? do mm -hmm. let's go with this one okay so it's square we can use the um, set as a set the image as the background in there let's bring in another photo of an artwork let's go that one so what you can also do and you don't you, you can have a look for plenty of other um, background photos as well so you don't have to use wall art background photos so this one you can perhaps resize it a little bit to make it more realistic to the size that you painted it put it on the background and then we want to edit the image um, and pop a shadow so if this is an artwork of a stretched canvas and it doesn't have a border around it I would then do this edit the image and put a shadow on it so I go to drop down and that's automatically just giving me a bit of a shadow around the outside of the frame so we can blur it out a little bit um, change the angle a little bit as to where you think the shadow should go um, move the distance as well of your shadow and of course the intensity so you can play with that so there you go how's that um, let me just move that just a little bit there you go so it's got a beautiful shadow around it just nicely sitting around that just to make it a little more realistic so therefore you can then go ahead and save these and this is where you can batch them to save time as well so you will um, save these so share download I save them as PNGs and this is the size in pixels so you go into um, all pages to save them separately um, turn that off and click on current page which is just this one so page three of what we've done and go ahead and download that to your computer ready to do all your um, social media posts for the week or month or however you do them so that just gives you a bit of an idea of how I do them and how I'm using Canva to make my photos in situ um, I'm finding it really good and um, take, saves me a lot of time as well uh, it's easy just to bring your photos in of, of anything you use into uploads 
pick your size, choose your background, your photo, then bring in your artwork, resize it. So this one's already got a beautiful drop shadow around it. Um, and it looks really good, realistic. Share, download, PNG, size is correct. Select the page, current page, just page one. Click done and it will download then for you. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it helps. Leave me a um, again, questions below if you need some more advice. Happy to help.